Here's our next one, Jonathan David. Hello, everybody. So it might come as a bit of a surprise to some of you, but I used to have a bit of a problem with hard drugs. <laughs> the reason that comes as a surprise is because I look like a nerd. Because <laughs> I am one. And here's the thing, when you look like a nerd and you do drugs, people don't think that you're high. <laughs> they think you have Asperger's. <laughs> Coincidentally, I may have Asperger's. <laughs> I'm kind of a strange guy. It's not my fault though. I, I had a strange childhood. Both of my parents are deaf. And when you have deaf parents, it leads to a lot of strange situations. Like, like I was pretty young when I first realized to always make sure there was plenty of toilet paper stocked in the bathroom. Because <laughs> when you have deaf parents, you don't realize there's no TV in the bathroom until it's too late. Well then you might as well be pooping in outer space. <laughs> you can scream your little head off. Ain't nobody gonna hear you. You're on your own. And that's a lot of pressure for a four-year-old. Most of you would buck under that kind of pressure. It made a man out of me. I just had to make that terrible Sophie's choice between the magazines and the hand towels. One of you is gonna have to go today. Which one's it gonna be? Hand towels? That's just an eco-friendly choice. You can just throw it in the wash afterwards. Nobody has to know. <laughs> Another thing that I learned having deaf parents is that I should always wear earplugs when I go to sleep because my parents can't hear themselves while they're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody should have to hear the sound of their little brother getting made. That's disgusting. It's terrible. And it, it wasn't just them either. Every time they'd start up, the freaking dogs would start barking. Not their dogs. No, their dogs are used to that bull crap. It was the neighbor's dogs that started barking. The freaking neighbor's dogs were barking. Well, why shouldn't they bark? They probably thought my parents were murdering another dog. <laughs> Leave that poor dog alone. Could you imagine living next door to that crap? Oh, what, the, what, the, what are you going to do about it? Call them up on the phone? They're deaf. They ain't going to answer. <laughs> One of my neighbors actually did come over. And he was all like trying to gesture my parents. He was like, Did you know that when you have sex, it sounds like a robot is getting raped by a howler monkey? <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying all deaf people sound like they're clubbing baby seals while they're doing it, just my parents. <laughs> I went up to my mom, I was like, What did the neighbors say? And she was like, He said he wanted a threesome. <laughs> And I, I believed her too because my mom's a paranoid schizophrenic so I she'd always say crazy stuff all the time. That's true, my mom is deaf and she's schizophrenic. Which I think is hilarious because you know she can't hear the voices in her head, right? <laughs> They're like, burn down the house, bitch! And she's like, I don't hear nothing. <laughs> it's very convenient, it is, it's very convenient. Eventually, my parents did catch on. They started playing music while they were having sex, but they're deaf, so they just played the same song every time. So now every time I hear CC Music Factory, I get flashbacks. I was like, fucking no! <laughs> the other day, no, the other day I was in the club, and all of a sudden I hear, everybody dance now! Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> I lost my fucking mind! I busted out of that place! My friend's like, Jonathan, what's wrong? And I was like, I don't want a little brother! <laughs> they were like, you're weird. It's not my fault! Another thing I learned having deaf parents is that I should be the one who drives. I should drive. Me, not them. I'm not saying all deaf people shouldn't be allowed to drive. Because that's racist. I'm just saying my parents should be allowed to drive because they like to do this funny little thing where they like to talk while they drive. Think about that. They talk with their eyes in their hands. The last time I checked, you need your eyes and your hands for driving. What the fuck are driving? <laughs> Not my parents, no. My mom would be talking to me while she's driving, and she'd be talking with her hands, and she'd be looking at me with her eyes, and she'll be steering with her knee. <laughs> and she's smoking that joint. I don't even know how she's talking to me. <laughs> and then she has the nerve to get mad at me. 
She's all like, why aren't you watching what I'm saying? <laughs> because I'm watching the fucking road. <laughs> If you didn't catch that, this is a sign for fucking. <laughs> Show your friends, you're welcome. You don't even realize, I just hooked all you people up. Now you can go up to any deaf person you want to be like, hey, you, me, uh -huh, uh -huh, let's go! I'm making connections here, people. Who else is doing that? This is just me. You didn't think you were going to learn anything today, but you did. <laughs> Why wasn't I watching what you were saying? Oh, because I was busy watching my life flash before my fucking eyes. And let me tell you, it was short. It's all okay though, it's all okay. Cause my mom's deaf, so she can't hear. The screams of the children that she runs over. Her conscience is clear. Do you wanna know it was so important that my mom needed to, to talk to me while she was driving? She said, what happened to my hand towels? 